I'm, I'm not a betting man. I just, the odds are the following. Something like, yes, they can engineer a soft landing, a third of a percent chance. Probably a third of a percent chance they can engineer a mild recession. And then there's a chance this could be much harder than that. In the face of all of that, you have Ukraine, which is a huge global issue. JP Morgan, one of the world's largest banks, is in trouble. Its share price has halved since 2017 and is now worth less than half its book value. The bank is facing a perfect storm of problems, including a declining U.S. economy, trade wars, rising interest rates, and competition from new digital banks. In the third quarter of 2018, J.P. Morgan reported a loss of $990 million. In the fourth quarter of 2018, they lost another $819 million. If you'd like to know why, here are three reasons. In November 2018, J.P. Morgan announced plans to lay off 18,000 employees over the next two years, an enormous reduction in staff for one firm. They also blamed the drop in trading revenue on lower oil prices and the general sluggishness in global markets. That same month, Jamie Dimon, the CEO of J.P. Morgan, announced that the company would cut employee perks, such as free meals and gym memberships at company locations. The reason? To cut costs. In the early 1930s, economist John Maynard Keynes warned that the bank J.P. Morgan was playing with fire and that its practices could lead to a catastrophe. He was proved right when the bank collapsed in September of that year, precipitating the global financial crisis. Keynes was not alone in his concerns about J.P. Morgan. Other economists, including Irving Fisher and Hyman Minsky, also warned that the bank's practices were putting the global economy at risk. But their warnings went unheeded and the consequences were devastating. This video will explain why J.P. Morgan is collapsing, the coming crisis, and what this means for the global economy. J.P. Morgan is one of the oldest and most storied investment banks in the United States. Founded in 1871, J.P. Morgan played a pivotal role in financing the country's development, underwriting the construction of railroads, steel mills, and other key industries. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, J.P. Morgan was also one of the leading financiers of European governments. However, J.P. Morgan has not always been on sound financial footing. The bank nearly collapsed during the Panic of 1907 and was only saved by a massive infusion of capital from John D. Rockefeller. In the wake of the Great Depression, J.P. Morgan was again in trouble, as its heavy exposure to loans made to European governments left it on the brink of bankruptcy. Fortunately for J.P. Morgan, the United States government stepped in and bailed out the bank. Since then, J.P. Morgan has weathered some storms, including the 2008 financial crisis. However, the bank is now facing its biggest challenge yet, an impending collapse that could rival or surpass that of 2007-2008. Some factors have put J.P. Morgan at risk of collapse, including its involvement in risky derivatives trading and its large exposure to risky assets. J.P. Morgan, one of the world's largest banks, has been struggling recently. The coronavirus pandemic has hit the company hard, with its shares falling by over 30% since the start of the year. J.P. Morgan has also been embroiled in several scandals, including the alleged manipulation of the precious metals market and the involvement of its employees in a major fraud case. This week, the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase sent out a memo stating the nation's largest bank is working with law enforcement to investigate potential misuse of the government loans, including employees who may have improperly received some of the money. The bank has been trying to turn around its fortunes, but it is still facing several challenges that have jeopardized the future of the bank. These challenges include 1. A string of terrible publicity and lawsuits. J.P. Morgan has been embroiled in many controversies in the past few years, including the London whale trading scandal and allegations of rigging energy markets. These scandals have damaged the bank's reputation and led to billions of dollars in fines and settlements. 2. A shrinking customer base. J.P. Morgan has been losing customers as more consumers move away from traditional banking products and services. This trend will probably continue as new technologies make it easier for people to do their banking online or through mobile apps. 3. Increasing competition. J.P. Morgan is no longer the only game in town regarding investment banking and financial services. Several large banks and financial institutions are competing for business, which puts pressure on J.P. Morgan's margins. 4. Regulation. 
The financial sector is one of the most heavily regulated industries in the world. This regulatory environment has become even more stringent in recent years because of the global financial crisis. As a result, JP Morgan has had to increase the amount of cash they keep in reserve to prepare them for any problems they might face. There are several reasons JP Morgan is collapsing. First, the company has been embroiled in several scandals in recent years, damaging its reputation and leading to a loss of customer confidence. Second, JP Morgan has been making several risky investments which have not paid off and have left the company in a precarious financial position. Finally, the global economic conditions have been challenging in recent years, and this has put pressure on JP Morgan's bottom line. Because of all of these factors, JP Morgan is now in a very weak position and its collapse is looking increasingly likely. Other factors that may have contributed to JP Morgan's collapse include the company's massive layoffs, Diamond's compensation, their withdrawal from certain markets, the $36 billion settlement with the government, their increased dependence on the government from a bailout. There's a lot of speculation about whether the JP Morgan crisis is coming. Some experts believe the crisis is inevitable, while others believe it is not. However, one thing is certain. The JP Morgan crisis will significantly affect the global economy. If the JP Morgan crisis occurs, it is expected to trigger a wave of defaults and foreclosures. This will cause a domino effect, leading to a decrease in demand for goods and services and an increase in unemployment. The crisis will also lead to a loss of confidence in the financial system and a reduction in the value of the US dollar. The JP Morgan crisis will have a significant impact on the lives of ordinary people. It is expected to cause a decrease in the standard of living and an increase in poverty and inequality. The crisis will also have a negative impact on the environment as it will lead to a rise in greenhouse gas emissions. The JP Morgan crisis is a major threat to the global economy and we must take action to prevent it from happening. One crisis that could cause serious problems for JP Morgan is the collapse of the derivatives market. Derivatives are an important part of the company's business model, but they are also one of the greatest threats to the bank. Derivatives are a form of financial risk that is very difficult to predict. If they collapse, JP Morgan will have trouble managing them. Derivatives are also highly connected to the rest of the financial system, so a collapse of JP Morgan's derivatives could cause a general collapse in the entire system. There's also the possibility of a cyber attack on JP Morgan that could cause a crisis. The nation's biggest bank is the latest target of a cyber attack. JP Morgan Chase says it's not noticing anything unusual right now, but the hackers may have access to your checking and savings account. They have got customer information that can be used to drain customers' accounts. So they have gotten the keys to the kingdom in this regard. Fintech startups are companies that offer services traditionally offered by banks. Some of these startups, e.g. MoneyCorp, provide foreign exchange services. Others, such as Revolut, are providing banking services themselves. These Fintech startups are taking business away from the banks, including JP Morgan. This is because they often have lower fees, easier access, and better customer service. This is causing trouble for JP Morgan because they cannot compete with the fintech startups as easily as they used to. These fintech companies are proliferating and JP Morgan has noticed this. They are trying to adjust to this new situation by acquiring some of these companies. JP Morgan is also responding to this threat by investing in its own fintech initiatives. The bank has launched a mobile app, ChasePay, and is partnering with companies like Apple and Microsoft to provide digital payment solutions. JP Morgan is also experimenting with blockchain technology and artificial intelligence. Despite these efforts, JP Morgan faces an uphill battle against the nimble startups that are quickly gaining market share. To compete, the bank will need to continue to invest in innovative technologies and find ways to provide consumers with better value. As the U.S. economy grows, demand for investment increases. This has led to a rise in interest rates. Higher interest rates can be a problem for JP Morgan because they are a large lender. JP Morgan lends money to governments, businesses, and individuals. This means they will have to charge higher interest rates if the economy grows. But if they charge too high a rate, they may not get enough people to borrow from them. This could be a problem if the economy slows down again. Many economists think that it will happen soon. If it does, people may not have enough money to pay back what they borrowed.
JP Morgan crisis is a sign of things to come. The bank has been struggling for years, and this is just the latest development. The future looks bleak for JP Morgan, and the coming years will likely be filled with more challenges and difficulties. This is a major problem for the global economy, as JP Morgan is a major player in the financial system. If the bank collapses, it could trigger a domino effect, leading to a global economic meltdown. It's not good news if you're wondering what this means for the future. JP Morgan is already having much trouble, and this economic environment will not make things easier for them. This could be the beginning of a new financial crisis that could be even worse than the last one. Or it could be simply a difficult period for the banks. It does not look good for JP Morgan and the other large banks. Even if the situation does not escalate into a crisis, these banks are still facing difficult times ahead. The best thing for them to do at this point is to make the best of the situation. They can streamline operations, improve customer service, and find new business areas. The JP Morgan crisis is a perfect storm of bad news for the bank. Between its mounting legal troubles, its exposure to toxic assets, and its reliance on volatile markets, JP Morgan is in a very precarious position. While it remains to be seen how this crisis will play out, one thing is certain, JP Morgan is in for a rough ride. Financial crises happen all the time, but they are rarely this big. JP Morgan is one of the biggest banks in the world, and they're in a lot of trouble. The collapse of JP Morgan will be bad news for the US and most of the world. If JP Morgan collapses, the effects will ripple outward and touch other banks and economies around the globe. Thus, we must do everything we can to prevent the collapse of JP Morgan and other banks. What can we do to help? We can start with being careful with our money. Try to avoid making unwise investments and taking on too much debt. You should also be cautious if you see signs of trouble at JP Morgan. Keep your money safe, diversify your investments, and stay informed about the situation. Hopefully, we can prevent the collapse of JP Morgan and other banks. But if we don't, we'll need to be prepared for the effects. If you like this episode, check out this next video as you'll find it super interesting.